Hi everyone, this is Dov Herskovitz. Uh, with the release of the CI-CD component catalog, anyone can create a component and then release it and publish it to the catalog uh, so it will be visible so anyone could use it. Uh, in this recording, I'm gonna quickly go through our documentation and show you how to do this. Uh, so we'll start with uh, sharing the documentation section, CI-CD component, and first of all, before we can actually uh, release a component, we need to create a component. Now a component uh, needs to have a specific directory structure. So I'm gonna start by creating a new project, blank project, we can call it uh, catalog test. We'll select namespace underneath my username. It could be public or private, it doesn't really matter. Create a public one. Now let's create a project. It's So I've, I've decided to check to initialize the repository with the readme.md. The readme.md is a mandatory file, as we mentioned in the documentation. The repository must contain a readme.md file. So I've already created that. And then we need to have a top level templates directory that contain all the component configuration. It, and this repository need to host need to host a YAML file or multiple YAML files. So let's go ahead and create a, a new directory called templates. And then it needs some sort of a YAML file, my component. And this YAML file requires some sort of a configuration. We can take this example snippet and just paste it in. But basically here, this is where you will specify the configuration of your component that you would like to use in your pipeline. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and commit. Okay, so now we have a project with uh, the folder structure that is required for a component. Now this component could be used. I can use this component right now is a part of my uh, of my uh, pipeline. If I'm going to include the component uh, using this uh, this syntax, but I want to proceed and and publish the component to the uh, to the catalog. And to do that, uh, it is uh, it's probably a requirement to add the GitLab CI YAML file probably need to specify uh, or clarify this in the documentation. Uh, so the GitLab CI YAML file, uh, we will edit number one, to test the component if we like, and then to release a new, a new version. Uh, so let's scroll further down, CI/CD catalog, okay? So in order to publish a component to a project, we need to set the project as a catalog resource and then publish a new release. Okay, so in order to set the component project as a catalog resource, uh, we need to go to the setting general and go to the setting general. And then I go to expand visibility project feature and permission and scroll down to the CICD catalog resource. So we are expanding here. Okay, save changes. Okay, so to publish a new release, uh, we need, as we mentioned, we need to create a, a GitLab CI YAML file with the release job. Okay, and let's read this section uh, for a second because this is a very common pitfall. The release will fail if the project is missing project description, okay? So project description is actually, uh, is actually an optional, but for the component, it is mandatory. So, because this is the description that we present in the catalog. So this is my uh, catalog uh, demo. Okay, so I have a project description now I need to create a release job and I can use, I can basically use this snippet 
and this snippet uh, create the create a release uh, in my uh, in the catalog but there is actually a best practice section where we mention how you can test the component if I want to test it I can add it and there is also a way for me to automatically release a component when I'm creating a tag because creating a tag is mandatory. So I'm going to copy this snippet and I'm going to explain. And so let's go back to my project. And sorry. So I'm going to create a GitLab CI YAML file. Now this is a release job that publish the component in the catalog. If I'll go right now to the catalog, I won't be able to see uh, my uh, my project. Okay, if we go explore, we'll go to the CI CD. Okay, we can see that my project uh, is not available. Um, so, and this release job, as you can see, we've defined as one rule, and this rule says that this release job will only run when we are creating a tag. Now, as I mentioned, creating a tag is uh, is mandatory for us to release a component, so we can version it. So every time, basically, every time we we will version it, this rule actually says that every time we'll add a tag to uh, to our component or to our project actually, uh, this release job will run and this release job will run and uh, will publish the catalog. So I'm gonna commit this change right now. And since I didn't create any tag, no pipeline will run, okay? Um, so it's here that the configuration is invalid. Okay, so we have, right, we need to update the stage. Let's just get rid of this JS stage. We don't need it. Um, okay. So now every time that I'm going to, basically every time that I'm going to create a tag to this project, this pipeline will run and it should publish uh, the project uh, to the catalog. So let's go and go ahead and delete the tag. Create a new tag. Put v zero. I'm going to create the tag. And now the pipeline should run. With the release job. Okay, yes. So the release job is, is successful. And now if I'll go to the catalog, let's hit refresh. Okay, so here is my catalog. It was released 18 seconds ago. That's me. And if I click, I'll be able to see the readme and I can go to the project. Okay. Now let's say that I want to update my catalog, my 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 component, sorry. So let's assume that I'm doing some sort of a change. And so let's go to the uh, to my repository. Let's assume that I'm doing some sort of a change in the component. Let's say that I'm updating it. So it will echo the world. Okay, now if I'm committing this change, okay, the component is updated, but it is not reflected in the catalog. In the catalog, I will still see the old version. Okay, I mean, if someone will use my component with this uh, with this version or with latest, which will take like the latest published version, they will use the uh, the outdated version. So in order to update the component, I need to do go and do another another tag. So let's do another tag. 
as well as version 1.0.1. .1. You can also add a message updating to echo hello. I'm going to create a tag and it again will automatically triggers the pipeline and will publish the catalog with the new um, with the new version of the component. So you see there is like another another pub pipeline was published, was created uh, with the create release job. And if I'll go to the catalog, V1.0.0, hit the refresh, and we can see that it was updated to version 1.0.1. Now let's assume that I want to uh, unpublish a component from the catalog. In order to do that, all I need to go to do is to go to the settings, general, expand that section, and then switch the toggle off. And it will prompt remove project from CI/CD catalog. It means that the project in any release version will be removed from the catalog. And if I re-enable this toggle, I will need to release it again. I need to create another another tag, so it will run another uh, release job. So let's see how it works. I click on the remove. Now if I go to the catalog, here is my component project. I click on refresh, and it's gone. Um, that's it. And if you if you find this recording useful, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you and bye-bye.